G'day everyone, it's Angelo Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. And today I'm bringing you a vlog about how I lost $500,000 over the last four years of my journey as a real estate investor. So let's get started. So there are two key components to me losing all this money and I'm gonna touch on that in a bit, but I wanna share a quote with you that I actually made up and it goes like this. Every experience is a good experience as long as you perceive it to be a good experience. So I know that sounds pretty philosophical, um, but guys, I honestly believe that, you know, when you lose money just like I did, and I like to refer to losing that $500,000 as my Harvard degree of real estate, um, but look, you've got to find something good within that negativity, and you've got to feed yourself with that good in order to be able to continue moving forward. Otherwise, if you can't do that, you're going to get scared, it's going to bring you down, and you'll probably never invest in real estate. And guys, we all lose money. Um, it's, it's not a bad thing losing money as long as you can learn from those mistakes and never repeat them again, okay? So that is very important, and I wanted to start off by saying that. Now, the biggest mistake that I have ever made, and I've referred to this mistake many times in the past, and that is this. I wasn't patient, uh, meaning I would just buy properties for the purpose of adding quantity to my portfolio without actually having any justifiable reason on why I was purchasing all of these properties. I bought 13 properties or so, if my memory serves me right, in the space of six months, got into a ton of debt, built a very large portfolio back home in Australia, and the media was referring to me as this whiz kid, even though they had no clue that I was losing money on, on my monthly mortgage repayments. So yes, it was great having that status of a whiz kid, real estate investor, you know, this awesome entrepreneur, but there was nothing there, guys. There was nothing there. It was fake. It was just absolute BS. So my message to you is this. There are many strategies of investing in real estate. Um, wholesaling, buy, fixing and flipping, buying and holding, whatever it may be. Pick your strategy, stick with it, do not get caught up in the shiny objects, which could, uh, I guess I'm referring to other potential strategy where you could potentially make more money. Guys, become an expert in one thing. Don't be a master of all trades and a jack, sorry, don't be a jack of all trades and a master of none. Um, just be a master in one thing. Figure out what your end goals are. Once you figure out what your end goals are, pick a strategy, stick with it, and then make sure that every property you are adding to your portfolio or every property you are buying is getting you a step closer towards achieving your end goal. So stick with that strategy. Now, why I lost a lot of money um, is because, guys, when I was committed to buying these properties just for the purpose of buying them and adding them to my portfolio, they weren't making me money. I was losing a lot of money. I had to sell out at a loss. But once I figured out, woke up and smelt the roses and really understood why I really started my journey as a real estate investor, it was really too late. So there was deals coming across my desk that I could not purchase and that's where I lost a ton of opportunity costs because I already had my money tied up in other investments, okay? So the first one I would suggest is be patient, pick your strategy, know what your end goal is and then only add properties to your, portfo to your portfolio or only transact on properties that are genuinely getting you a step closer towards achieving your end goal, okay? So that would be the first thing that caused me to have um, you know, a financial, financial loss. Um, the second thing, guys, the second thing is this, the people. And guys, there's a saying, it goes like this, business is easy, people make it difficult. And just thinking back, um, to how much money I've lost to working with the wrong people, it is absolutely mind-boggling, guys. Like, I've had business partners, you know, sell me their own properties in crappy areas where I completely lost my ass. I've had other business partners let me do 90% of the work even though they still got 50% of the profits. I've had another business partner not pay us, not pay us out on a few deals, just didn't want to for whatever reason. Um, then I've had employees steal money. Like just two days ago, I had one of our employees that, that left the company six months ago try and process one of our company cards on an out-of-state purchase. Um, contractors, my God, how much money have I lost to contractors? I mean, guys, you name it, we've lost money. Tenants trying to sue us for no reason just because they think we got, you know, a big piggy bank so they can try and get something from it. Um, guys, it is absolutely mind-boggling. Um, but look, uh, I guess my tip to you is this, is take things slow. Whenever you're looking at entering a new relationship, um, be it a, a business partnership or hiring someone to assist you with your real estate endeavors, 
Do not jump in. There's another saying, it goes like this, hire slowly, fire quickly. Ultimately, guys, real estate is not a one-night stand. It's gonna take five, 10, or 15 years in order for you to get to where you need to be with your real estate endeavors, um, achieve financial freedom, or create a company where you can leave a legacy through that company. So take things slow, get to know each other, respect each other. Um, there can't be a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You have to fall in love before you get married, right? Because it is a marriage when you look at it. Um, and guys, I guess I wanna tell you this, I'm gonna summarize it by saying, don't lose hope. Even if you've gotten burnt in the past like I have, um, where I've lost money, you know, not being patient, buying wrong properties due to my mistake, you know, I still picked myself back up and I continued, you know, buying properties and just tweaking my, my strategy. Um, or in this case where people um, have screwed me, which is still my fault, right? I trusted the wrong people, but I still haven't lost hope, guys, because Look, in order for that relationship to truly, to, to truly flourish, you can't enter it with a closed mind and a closed heart because it never will. You have to expose yourself. You have to be vulnerable. You do not want to miss out on that gem partner or that you know, gem deal because you got burnt in the past and now you're all scared and hesitant. Um, and um, I'll end it by saying this, guys. It doesn't matter how many times you're wrong. As long as you're right once and it counts. Like you could start nine companies um, be wrong every single time, but that 10th one is a multi-million dollar company that literally sets you apart from your competitors and you leave a legacy. Um, let me get a, a love doctor here. You could have nine relationships with uh, nine business partners or actually nine individuals and they don't work out. Every single one of those relationships is wrong. And, um, but that one time you find the love of your life, you get married and you live happily ever after forever, or you find that one business partner that you create that great company and you leave that legacy. So um, learn from your mistakes, guys. Try not to repeat them. Um, that pretty much summarizes how I lost $500,000, I believe, if not more, I'm not keeping tally of it. But look, I'm still here. I'm doing better than ever. I'm focusing on growth. I'm not, letting, I'm not letting that negativity drag me down. I find something positive within it and I keep pushing forward. So um, those are some of my experiences. Uh, I'd love to hear yours. So, and I know that there's a lot of people out there that have lost a lot of money. So please comment below, share your experiences with me. Um, I'd love to know, you know where you went wrong, what you did wrong and what you did to get yourself back on the right track and um, you know, how you're doing right now. So um, that's pretty much it. Comment below guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. I'm Angela Rumora. I'm your favorite Australian. Until the next vlog, you guys have a great day.